Good morning guys, it's Sunday the 27th of September. Um, my name's Julie and if you're new here, I'm trying to lose weight following the Simeon plan and I do um, daily um, what I eat in the days. Well, I kind of do two days together when I do it. Um, but I put a bit of vloggy, vloggy content in there too. So if you like random chatter and nonsense, then you'll probably like my channel. <laughs> So welcome, and if you've been before, thanks for coming back and supporting me. It's very much appreciated. I look dreadful today, and I'm aware that my appearance isn't great. I've got a massive spot coming on my chin, and I can't decide whether it's hormones or the change in the seasons or stress. It could be a combination of all of those things. Um, but I'm makeup free at the moment, hair scraped back, um, cosy clothing on. It's really, really cold. It's um, currently about quarter past seven in the morning. I got up originally about half five today with Tom um, just to get him up for work and make him a cup of coffee. And I know I shouldn't be doing it now because he, this week I've been moving out. So he'll need to get himself up in the morning. But, you know, I just thought I'll get up. But obviously me being me, once I'm awake, I'm awake. Couldn't try to go back to bed. Couldn't go back to sleep. So even though I feel shattered, I couldn't go back to sleep. So I've got quite a few things running through my head. So I decided to get up, make myself a coffee. I've stuck some YouTube vlogs on just to sit with a bit of background noise. And I've got my laptop on my knee and I'm going to do some blog post planning. So if you don't know already, I've got a, a blog, um, a website that I um, that I write on occasionally. It's been really sporadic this year through uh, coronavirus because it's odd, odd times, isn't it? We've all been really busy and trying to adjust to whatever the new normal was at the time. So um, it has been a little bit neglected, but I'm going to do some planning and write a few posts. I had quite a few going through my head while I was lying in bed that I was thinking about doing. So I'm going to sit and try and plan for those if I can um it is freezing cold so i've got a real mix match outfit on today this soft cotton top it's long sleeve but i've got this massive blanket um cardigan over the top so it doesn't really all go together but it's nice and warm and toasty i'm refusing to put my heating on yet um i try and last as long as i can but it, it does feel particularly cold at the moment i don't quite know what's gone on we've gone from having it being quite nice and warm and no you know short sleeves no jackets to suddenly needing to really wrap up warm but so the good thing is that means that it will be the season for some nice warm sort of stews and soups and things which I personally love. Um, they're easy to make, easy to heat up, you know, it doesn't matter if you prepare them in advance because they taste better as they get older. So I'm um, looking forward to that. Don't know what I'm doing food wise today. Um, I'm not really going to go and do a big shop because um, I haven't been paid yet and I'm trying to eke out what I have in the freezer. So. I need to try and think of what I can do for dinner today. I don't have anything in for a roast joint, um, unless I nip out and buy one. Um, I've got packs of chicken in the freezer, but it's all in the freezer, so it would mean doing them in the instant pot. Really fancy something actually like a lasagna, to be honest, even though it's I normally have a Sunday dinner on a Sunday. I do fancy something like a lasagna, so we'll see. We'll see what we'll come up with later, I don't know. I don't even know what the day holds for me today. Um, I would quite like to go out somewhere. Um, because I fear a lockdown's coming, so I'm thinking I'd like to try and take advantage of going out while I can. Um, but I don't know what the weather's going to be like today. It looks very grey and miserable out there at the moment, but obviously it's only sort of quarter past seven, so it's early doors. But I'm not having breakfast just yet. I'm going to carry on with what I'm doing, and when I have something, I'll show you. Just a quick update. It's, it's starting to warm up. The sun's come out, so this big coat thing will be coming off soon. I've just sat watching TV and doing nothing. How lazy am I? But everyone's in bed, apart from Tom, who's at work, so I don't want to get the vacuum cleaner on and start making a noise. And I think my body just needs to relax for a bit, so I've been selfish and just sat down and caught up on lots of YouTube and some longer vlog ones that I like to watch that I haven't watched for a while. I've edited a video. I have started to draft one, two, three, four, five, six, six um, blog posts, which won't be up yet. I've still got work to do on them. Luna came and jumped on my lap and sat and snuggled for a bit, so I couldn't really type. So I've I've done sort of like titles and ideas, but not a great deal else. So they will be finished at some point. The reason I've jumped on again now is because one of the vloggers that I watch, um, Rihanna and Ashley, um, who I absolutely love, I mean... <laughs> I've not really got anything in common with her. She's got a, a daughter that's just started school, so not even in the same age as mine. But I love watching her content. It's so chilled. Um, she's environmentally friendly, um, does nice long vlogs, so I love watching her stuff. But anyway, she was talking about Vlogtober. I've not thought about it, because obviously I only started my channel at the start of this year, and I started to wonder whether perhaps I should think about doing Vlogtober. 
and I just wonder what you all thought, whether you thought it was a good idea or not. Um, they won't obviously be long videos like I do now. I'd be vlogging every day, just little snippets. Um, obviously depends on what life has in store for us by then, I guess. But um, I probably will just incorporate my what I eat in a day into it and perhaps try and include some sort of autumnal things. Um, let me know in the comments what you think and whether you'd be interested in watching something like that. Um, it wouldn't necessarily be, apart from what I eat, it wouldn't necessarily be just Slimming World. It would just be general sort of vlog content. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think and I'll think about whether I can do it. Here's my breakfast. Apologies if you can hear the washing machine in the background. I've got two slices of wholemeal bread that's from a 400 gram loaf. That's my Health Extra B. And on that I've spread a Laughing Cow Extra Light. And then, uh, and that's out of my first healthy extra A. I've got some baked beans that are free and two poached eggs. And one is overdone and one's a little bit underdone. So I haven't done a very good job this morning. And they're not very um, Instagram worthy, but I'm sure they'll taste okay. So this is my breakfast. It's quite late now, so I probably won't have a proper lunch. It'll probably just be a lunch combined with a dinner. And I shall catch you later next time I have something. Hi, and here's my dinner. I've got Hunter's chicken lasagna, which is a pinch of non recipe that someone um, sent me a link to the other day. And uh, Ewan's made this whilst I've been helping Tom move. So I'm gonna go and eat this now and hopefully it'll be nice. I shall have to let you know. And um, I'll catch you later for snacks. Here is my snack. So I've got 25 grams of the giant dark milk buttons and that's seven sins. So you don't get much for your your money in sins but I've had some chocolate so I'm going to have this I think I still have got some sins left if I want something else but I'm going to see how I feel after I've had my chocolate and I should catch you later Good morning it is Monday and it's September the 28th today it's my sister's birthday <laughs> not that any of you know her but <laughs> it's my sister's birthday today um, I am working from home today. I'm logged on now as we speak. Logged on for about half seven. Sitting working away. Um, not a huge amount of makeup on today because I'm trying to clear these spots up. Which I think, I don't know if it's hormonal because I think I heard somewhere that chin related area is hormonal. Um, but I always find that when the seasons change, my mum always used to say when the leaves come onto the trees and fall off the trees, you get like spots and stuff. And it always seems to be true for me. So I think it could be a mixture of both those things. But anyway, I'm going makeup free, really. I've got a little bit on just to make myself a little bit presentable if I have any Zoom or Teams calls. Um, so yeah, um, it's, a work, it's a work from home and it's a what I eat in a day today. Um, I'm not eating just yet. I found over the last few days that I'm better off pushing my breakfast later so that I'm eating more of a brunch and then having my lunch and tea sort of combined or later in the day so that I've got capacity to have something to eat for a snack in the evening because that tends to be when I'm struggling at the moment. I think the dark evenings because I'm sitting down a bit, a bit more to sort of watch TV and stuff it's making me want to snack a little bit more than I have done over the summer. So that's the plan. I've asked Eddie whether he wants to nip to, um, we've run out of um, diluting juice. So I've asked him to nip to get some from Morrison's or somewhere on his way home from dropping you in at school this morning. So I mentioned that he could pop and get some bacon. So if he does, I might have a bacon sandwich or something or some bacon and egg or something like that. If he forgets and doesn't, then then I won't be having that. I'll probably be having some cereal or something. Um, it's a weird day today. Um, Tom is starting online with uni today, but from home, he's not moving out until, I think it's gonna be his first night in his accommodation will be Thursday. Um, Chloe is starting her online uni today. She's got lectures. So it's kind of all change again in the Buddha household. Um, <clears throat> Ewan's back to school after being off ill last week. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Got a sneeze stuck. I'm out of hay fever tablets and I was kind of putting off buying any because obviously we're getting to the end of the season really but I think I need them throughout the year. Um, so yeah, that's it really. That's my little update for this morning. Um, I think I've been okay over the weekend from a, an eating point of view and I jumped on the scales this morning and it's not looking too bad this, this week so I just need to control myself over the next couple of days. Um, I'm starting to get a message on the app now saying we haven't seen you for a while even though um, my leader at group because I haven't told her that I'm definitely not going back yet because I was still a little bit unsure um, and kind of waiting for the government to decide on what they were doing because I still I can't figure out this whole keeping groups going if everybody else is told not to do that but anyway um, I she's put me down as a shift worker because obviously work's been the main reason as well that I've not been to groups I have had meetings running quite late on a Wednesday 
I've still got the message pop up saying we haven't seen you for a bit. So I've now messaged Slimming World headquarters to say, how do I go about moving over to online rather than group? I don't feel comfortable going to group at the moment in its current format. So I'll wait for them to come back to me. I think it could be like 48 hours. So hopefully they won't take the app off me in that time. But um, I'm not trying to rip them off or anything like that. <laughs> I've got no intention of doing that. Um, I actually start to think at the weekend, maybe I should switch to a different way in and just find like a Saturday morning way in so then I can go. I'll still have my shoes on, but it'll be first thing in the morning so I won't have the whole I've been eating all day thing to contend with. But I still have to face the fact that I'm going to sit in group and a group doesn't feel the same for me at the moment. So, so yes, that's where we are right now. Um, but yeah, no other big plans for today. Um, it's just another real busy day. So... I'm going to get my head down and get on with it and I shall speak to you in a bit. Here is my breakfast. I've got three hex sausages that are half a sin each. So that's one and a half sins. I've got a fried egg that's free and tomatoes for speed. And I'll catch you later for lunch. I've got two slices of Neville's bread spread with laughing cow extra light with it because I decided I wanted to be able to soak up all the tomato juices. Not too keen on having a runny egg near my tomato. I'm a bit funny about that. So I'm going to enjoy this now and I shall catch you later. Not very photogenic and I'm near, I've started eating it already but I've got a little bit peckish. I haven't had any lunch but I decided to have some fruit. So I've got a Pink Lady Kids Apple which I've chopped up. It's starting to go a bit brown because I've just left it while I took Luna out for a quick walk. I've got some melon which I have eaten. I did have a couple of slices of that and I've got an easy peeler. I very nearly forgot to record because I'm really busy and obviously quickly dived out to take the unwrap for a walk. So I'm going to eat this while I carry on working for a bit and I'll show you and have my dinner later. It's actually been a crazy busy day so um, not not even thought about having lunch but I did get really hungry so I thought I'd get some fruit just to tide me over. But um, I'm popping out after I log off work to um, Dunelm and Ikea with Tom just to get some bits for his house. So. Um, I think it's probably going to be leftovers from yesterday. I think there's some of the leftover lasagna left, so it'll probably be that with some wedges or something for, for tea. I did take some mints out this morning, but it's whether or not I have time to cook anything fresh. Um, might save for tomorrow. So I've decided tomorrow that I'm not going to the office. I'm going to work from home. I've just got too much to do. So I don't want to spend time commuting when I could be just doing that on my work. So I'll catch you later if I do anything or have anything to eat. Here's my evening meal. I've got leftover hunter's chicken uh, lasagna from last night, so that's sin free. I've got some wedges that have been done in natural fry, so they're sin free. And I've got some green beans and broccoli that are speed. And then I've got a spoon of ketchup at the side. There's not a tablespoon there, there's only about half a tablespoon. So I've got some sins on screen for that. And, and I'll show you next time I have something to eat. Here is my pudding. I've got a Aldi version of the five one bars and that is three and a half sins. I've got some frozen raspberries that I've just defrosted a tiny bit in the microwave and they're at speed and I've got one of the Aldi protein vanilla pots that's one and a half sins. So this is a five sin um, pudding and snack and that'll probably be me done for the day. Good evening, I just thought I'd come on and just say hello. I've not spoken to you too much today. Um, after work, I've took Luna for a walk and then after I finished work, I went to Dunelm and Ikea with Tom and Ewan just so that Tom could look for some stuff for his house, which he only bought coat hangers, but we went to have a look just for a few bits. I think he's got to get a frying pan and various bits and bobs. So we did that. Um, and the good news is I bought a hot dog for Tom and Ewan and I didn't have one myself. So I'm really pleased because I normally do give in to temptation and I was really starving hungry. But I didn't have one. So I do feel like I've found my focus again, which is quite good. So yeah. Um, it's currently about five past eight. You've just seen my dinner and my pudding and I've just enjoyed both. I really did enjoy it. So... Um, I don't feel like I need anything else tonight now, so that will be me done for the day. I don't feel like I need any snacks or anything. I feel really full. 
and it's about five past eight or something and I don't think I'll be too long I'm out of bed I want to sit and watch a bit of tv for an hour or so I think and then I probably will just go to bed because I'm feeling pretty tired it's been quite a busy few days um with house removals and one thing and another but I just wanted to give you a quick update on where I am with Slimming World so um Margaret, my leader, had messaged the past two weeks to say I'm not, not going to make it to group because of work rather than fully cancelling uh, at this point whilst I was still sort of like undecided as to what I was going to do. Um, and it isn't a lie because I have been really busy and I've had meetings would, which would have meant I couldn't have gone to group anyway. So she, she last replied to me and said that she was put me down as a shift worker, which is fine. Um, but then when I got into the app over the weekend, it kept popping up with a message saying they've not seen me for a while and I've not been to group, etc. So it's almost like she hasn't put it through. Um, so I decided that I'm just going to contact Slim World and find out the best plan of action for moving over to online. So I emailed them and I'd explained that I'd been to group twice and how I didn't enjoy it in the current format and that I got on quite well with the virtual and I thought it was a shame they didn't keep some sort of virtual group going. I mean, from my point of view, they could just run a couple of them from head office that you can have quite a few people on Zoom at one go. For people like me or people that are vulnerable that can't go to group, they could keep it going. And I'm quite happy to pay the group fee for doing it. Um, it just means I just don't physically go out to group and I still get the support from members and things. <clears throat> but she replied back saying it wasn't feasible for them to run both at the same time and that less than half members signed up to virtual, which surprised me, actually. Um... But then the actual email I'd had from her was a bit disappointing because I'd actually gone to detail of saying how I'd been to two and it wasn't the same for me. And then her email just felt like it was a cut and paste job. So first of all, she referred to trying to ring me and I'd had no missed calls anywhere at home or on my mobile, even though I'd had it with me and got messages and calls from other people whilst I was out. And then um, she basically talked as if I'd not been back to group about how the new ex what the experience is like and how to keep people safe and how... I will be okay when I step on the scales at group for the first time, which was a bit bizarre because I had actually explained the situation. And then she um, basically said that, you know, there'd be no judgment when I go back to group, um, you know, and I could just basically forget about what had happened during lockdown, which I wouldn't really want to. Every time I pick my camera up, somebody walks past or does something, so... I just had to stop it again. So yeah, so she was basically saying how there's no judgment if I go back to weigh in for what happened during lockdown. Even though I put my email that I'd done really well over lockdown and I'd lost most of my weight through lockdown. So that again, it just felt like she just basically got some sort of document they've been told to send to people and copied and pasted it. So I was a bit, a bit disappointed to say the least that you think that you pay this money and this is the sort of like customer service sort of email and this is what you get back. It's almost like they just don't care. So... If it wasn't for the fact that we were fast approaching Christmas and I think I'm going to need the support of the online app, um, I probably would have cancelled at this point. But I've decided that I'm going to keep going. I really want to try and get to Target. So I don't actually know what happens with online when you get to Target, whether you still pay for the app or whether it becomes free. So if anyone is an online member that's got to Target, if you could let me know in the comments whether you, you still have to pay for the app or not, I'd appreciate it. Because... I just can't see the point in emailing this woman back because I don't think she'll probably read my email properly anyway. But anyway, um, that'll be me done for today. Um, thank you for watching if you've got this far. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, if you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help me know that you're enjoying my channel and will just encourage me to carry on making videos. And I shall see you tomorrow for the next one. Bye.